Hey, what's up, my YouTubian nation? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I know what you guys are saying. Two videos in two consecutive days. What's going on? Well, there's actually some things to talk about. So, what better time to make another video like the present right now? And it actually just shows about some of the topics I talk about. Because just yesterday, my video that I made, and if you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. Talking about the fact of how most people on this planet, especially in this country, uh, the United States of America Corporation, I know some people don't like me saying that, but you know, it gets people to ask the question, why do you call it that? And then they can dig deeper. So there's a method behind why I say it. But I was talking about especially how people are easily distracted, how they focus on the least important things on this planet, and they don't worry or even care about or even know what's really going on behind the scenes when it comes to governments, banks, the economy, and the important things that ultimately can affect and will affect your lives. And what happens? Well, how many people right now, and you could Google it, you could search on YouTube, how many people right now are talking about the Kanye West scenario, the situation that's going on with him and Beck at the Grammys? And if you type it in on YouTube, you will see dozens of videos that are focusing on, oh, I can't believe he would do this, and, you know, and about Beyonce, and the artistry, and all this other garbage. Meanwhile, we are having potential situations over in Greece. We have still problems over with Ukraine and what's going on with the Soviet Union, and how we're having all these sanctions, and how they might not be working as much as they were anticipating. Uh, more borrowing of money throughout the world. You're talking about the European Union is looking to do their own version of quantitative easing. And yet people are worried about the Grammys and poor Kanye West or poor Beck or poor Beyonce. And it just proves my point that the average person, especially Americans, and sometimes I'm, a, I'm ashamed to admit I'm an American, that they don't care about the more important things in life that will ultimately affect their family. It will affect their future. It will affect themselves. So, you know, you know, and some people that make sarcastic remarks about how they watch the Super Bowl and everything, and congratulations, I'm glad that entertained you. But you know what? No matter who won the Super Bowl, you get nothing from them. They give you no money. They give you no glorification. Your life doesn't improve because of it. So who really cares in the long run? But if all of a sudden there is a run on the banks, or if all of a sudden they print so much money that they, they can't pay it back anymore because they keep trying to have more and more deficits, like Obama's trying a $4 trillion deficit for this year. Do you know how much interest alone that is? And like I've said in several videos, they only create the principal amount, which means all of the interest that's above the principal they have to create more, so we pay that back, which does what? Creates more interest. Do you think that's going to happen forever? Do you think things are going to get not more and more expensive, but the value of the monetary system is going to devalue and devalue, and it's going to seem like it's getting more and more expensive? How high will it go before people can't afford to buy the simple basics, like putting gas in their car or putting food on their table and deciding, well, do I pay the heating bill this week? Do I pay the electric bill this week? Do I buy groceries? This is what's happening. That's why there are millions of Americans that are on welfare programs. And so many people are getting so used to being having other people take care of them that they've forgotten how to do it themselves. I mean, it's sad how many people do not know what QE is. Now, there are people here that were watching the videos asking what the what QE was. So that means they're at least interested in finding out, which is one of the reasons why I like talking about these things. And for those who don't know what QE is, it's called quantitative easing. You could look that up. But basically, in a nutshell, what it means is money printing. They just use fancy terms so it makes it seem that much more official. Ladies and gentlemen out there in the world, it is your duty, if you even know one-tenth of what's going on in the world, if you know one one-thousandth of what's going on in the world, it's your duty to inform other people, share these things, to let them know. Because let me tell you something, what happens to the masses eventually is going to happen to the rest of us, even those that are prepared. Because the millions that aren't prepared, and if there are some kind of scenarios where they're thinking, well, I don't have anything, but I know somebody who does, so let's go borrow from them. 
Do you want to put yourself in harm's way? Is caring about the Grammys or caring about, you know, the whole, what was it, flat gate or whatever they called it, deflate gate, to the point where they make a name of it? Is it really that important? Is it going to change your life in any way? But it gives people an excuse to sit back, watch TV, have something to talk about about the office and fit in. Because everybody's going to talk about Deflate Gate. Everybody's going to talk about the last two minutes of the Super Bowl. Everybody's going to talk about the Grammys and, oh, Kanye West and Beyonce and Beck. And who gives a rat's ass when your money is not worth as much as it was five years ago, ten years ago? If you had $10,000 a decade ago, just imagine how many more things it would buy than it could now. What does that tell you? That means they're robbing from you because the more money they print, the more it devalues, the less you can buy with it. So they're not physically stealing your money, not directly. But when they raise all of these fees and raise all these taxes that they love to call bailouts, we pay for them. And then instead of buying extra food or buying extra oil for your heating system or going on a vacation because you've worked so hard and you've earned it, you're giving your money away to a bunch of greedy politicians that give it to a bunch of greedy bankers. And they're the ones riding around in the limousines. They're the ones making sure the Kanye Wests of the world, the Beyonce's of the world, the patriots of the world and all of the people out there that you don't really care about because they'll never do anything for you. They make sure they're front and center newsworthy. Who cares about what's going on in China and Russia and how the deals that they're making trying to bypass the dollar? Who cares about the fact that they're printing so much money it could basically devalue the currency to the point where no country wants to take it anymore and all that inflation comes back into this country and hits us hard? Who cares that there's no jobs in this country anymore and they've all been shipped over to seas like China and other places so we manufacture nothing? Who cares if our government borrows money from a foreign bank and puts it in and dumps it into Wall Street to make the economy look like it's thriving? Who cares that our media doesn't talk about the truth? Who cares? The people. You should care because it's going to affect all of you. And if you're sitting there laughing at this, making fun of it, if you're one of the people that gets paid to thumb down the video because your life sucks so much, that's all you can do in your life, it's going to affect you too. may not affect you right away. And they'll hand you plenty of that worthless, well, soon to be worthless fiat money. It's not worthless, but it's losing its worth every day. Every dollar they print devalues it that much. What is a dollar valued at about six cents at this point? Back when I was born in 1970, a house was about $8,000. A car was about 800 to $1,000. A stamp was about a nickel. Gas, 35 cents to 30 cents a gallon. And we're all talking about how amazingly cheap it is at $1.99, $2.25. Keep watching the Grammys. Keep caring about people who mean nothing to you. Keep worrying about what the latest fashion is, what the latest celebrity gossip is. Be, and I'm not talking about my subscribers, but pretty much the people who are watching this, the ones that come here for the right reasons, they understand and they probably feel my frustration. And I'm not frustrated because you know what? I've been preparing for this since 2010. I'm not worried about the consequences because I've done everything I can on my part to keep myself and my family safe to the best of our ability. So if the shit does hit the fan, I'm ready for it in every way, sense of shape and form. But, you know, like I've told people, you know, all these people look about how can we be free? Well, a few people can't be free because if you're on a pirate ship and there are 1000 slaves and... The captain just doesn't like your attitude and says, you know what, you could be free, and you're in the middle of the ocean, stuck on a boat, and you have no idea where you are, but you don't have to work. You can't go where you want, you're stuck on the boat. So until everybody decides it is time not to kill people, not to throw the captain overboard, but just say, listen, we outnumber you. We are the people. We are the masses. We should dictate what happens in our lives. We have to stop being so lazy. And assuming that everyone else up there is doing the right thing. Because let me tell you, if they were doing the right thing, there wouldn't be hundreds of these types of videos and hundreds of these types of channels talking about the quite the opposite. 
Hello, McFly. So it's your duty, if you give a rat's ass, if you give a damn about not only your future, but your family's future, your children, your grandchildren's future. Stop kicking the bucket down the road and start informing people of what's important. Otherwise, one day we're all going to wake up and just see it on the news. There's another stock market crash. There's another devaluation of the currency. There's another war. And now half of us will sit there. Oh, where did this come from? I didn't expect that. No, because you were too busy caring about what Britney Spears and Beyonce and all these other people, what their lives are doing. And if you're getting paid to disrupt this in any way, shape, or form, whether you work for the government, whether you work for these mainstream media outlets that don't report anything other than what's written on a cue card, if you don't start changing your ways now, there's no guarantee what tomorrow is going to bring. But if we know throughout history, when things hit us, they hit us hard and they hit us suddenly. And the ones that are smart enough to pay attention to those things are the ones that have a better chance of making it out not only alive, but on top. It's time to wake up. Peace.